everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the magnificent new rules lawyer himself, the Battle Tome Armed Code Right for the Caradron Overlords. Yes, here he is. He's a fantastic little character field model, and I absolutely adore it. And, well, it's been sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint up for all of you guys and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today and I'm really excited because it's just so awesome. I mean, look at it, come on. This is just a fantastic miniature. Anyway, he's been primed in grey here and the colour we're going to be using first is Black Legion. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting this over a couple of different details. So the first one we're going to add it over the top of is his trousers. Very important. I'm just going to coat this over this trouser leg like that. Cause it's kind of like ribbed sky suit type thing going on here. There we go, perfect. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it over the top of this little tube just here going into the armor like that. We're going to apply this over the top of his beard. Like that sort of thing. Just going to have to finish that off so that we don't get any slightly weird drying lines. like this and we're also going to apply this over the top of his coat but we're going to exclude the soft bits up here and his undershirt but otherwise we just want to get this black legion over the top of the whole thing including the inside so with that black legion all applied it's still drying at the moment in some places but that's okay because we're going to move on to the next color and that is going to be some leviathan purple I'm going to paint this over the top of his undershirt. Like this. And we're going to apply this over the top of this kind of soft bit of the cloak up here. So with that Leviathan purple applied, whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're then going to do is take some Fire Slayer flesh. And this is quite early in the process for us to be applying a flesh paint, but we're going to be doing this over the top of his face. Seems only fitting that we use Fire Slayer Flesh, right? So with that Fire Slayer Flesh all applied, we then take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to apply this over the top of his gloves. And so with that all done, what we're now going to do is going to move on to one of the biggest colours and that's all the gold. Now there's tons of it, literally tons of it. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the gold on him and his walking library, uh, and we're gonna do the books here and here a little bit later on. 
just so we kind of keep a handle on things. So the color we're going to be using is Retributor Armor. And we're going to be applying this over the top of, well, pretty much the entire frame. There's a couple of bits that are going to be silver, but it doesn't matter if you get gold on these now, because you can just cover it over with our silver in just a little while. But for now, you just want to concentrate on getting this all over everywhere that you want to be gold. So I'd recommend having the box art open in front of you. Or indeed the product photography. And just get cracking. So with that Retributor armor all applied, like this, as you can see, I've actually noticed that there's a bit of visual distinctiveness to some of these details and other than just silver. So it will be an additional metallic to this. But before we get to that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some wildwood now. I'm gonna use this to paint in the kind of back of his boots. Because a lot of his boots are metal. There's just a little bit of leather in there. Like that. And then we're gonna add a tiny little bit of this at the top of his, what I'm assuming watch strap that he has on both of his gloves. So with that wildwood applied to those details, what we're now going to do is going to take some thinned down Rune Lord brass and we're going to apply this over the top of a lot of the kind of mechanical areas on his, on his gear. So we've got this kind of, all this area around here. And that we've actually got a little cable just there, which we're just going to try and avoid for the moment. So we'll want to paint that black in just a minute. So we've got all of this. We've got the kind of armoured joints of the two book arms. various other little spots of Rune Lord Brass. So with that Rune Lord Brass all applied, the next logical step would be to add the silver, except we've got silver details covering up those books in there, and we've got silver details here, and indeed we've got more gold details on the books themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the books. So we're going to take some Pterodon turquoise and we're going to apply this over some of the books. <laughs> so I'm looking at the box art now. This one is Pterodon turquoise, the one he's pointing to rather than banging his fist on. Uh, on the back we've got this large one here, the middle one there is black, the next one is turquoise, the next one is red and this outer one is turquoise. So it goes red, turquoise, black, turquoise, red, turquoise. So we're going to use this pterodon turquoise over the top of our turquoise book covers. So with that pterodon turquoise all applied, we're then gonna take some flesh terrors red and we're gonna apply this to, well, quite a few details. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this over the top of this bookmark. Just here.
like that. Good thing to remember. There's a little bit of it poking out down here. There we go. We've then got the bookmark in his pocket. Nope, <laughs> just checking the pictures. Uh, we've actually got the cover of the book in his pocket. That's gonna be red. Like that. I've got a little bit of this on that ruined wall brass, but that's okay, I can go and neaten that up in just a minute. We're gonna apply this over the top of the cover on this book. Just like that sort of thing. And then on the back, we've got, let's see if I can, <laughs> we've got this one. This one here is gonna be red. This one's gonna be black and then this one is gonna be red. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over the top of this book up here. Like that, and we're gonna apply this over the top of the bookmarks on our red book just here. And so with that Black Legion now applied, we then take some Skeleton Horde and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our pages across all of our books. So with that skeleton horde all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down iron warriors. I'm gonna apply this over pretty much all of our remaining metallics on him. Now we do have a few little bit of extra gold details to do, which we will do in exactly the same way as the retributor armor. So we just areas like these corners on these spines, for example, which we won't necessarily film. No, we will, for the sake of the video. <laughs> so we're just gonna get this Iron Warriors all over our silver details. This is gonna include that ether shot pistol handle, the remaining areas on the boots. Like that sort of thing. We've got these little guard rails a few mechanical bits on the back. Got these little gaps in what I'm assuming are loudspeakers. And so with all that Iron Warriors applied, as mentioned, we're gonna take some thin down Retributor armor. We're going to use this to paint in our remaining details. And so, with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our code right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some shades. And the first one we're going to add is Gilliman Flesh. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the gold. Now we could have used something like Reichland Flesh Shade here, but it's not quite strong enough for our needs because we want to have some really good, strong shading here. So we just want to get this all over, all of our gold details. Like this. And then once that's done, we shall return. So 
So with all that Gilliam and Flesh applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to use this to shade all of the Runord Brass. So with that Agrax Earthshade applied to all that Rune Lord Brass, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade the books and the silver and the black. And the colour we're going to be using for this is a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part black Templar mix. So we're just going to start here on the black. Like this. Lovely. Then we're going to also apply this over the top of the book cover. Similarly, this one here. Put the boots down here. Got the trousers. pistol, all of these areas. So with that black Templar and contrast medium mix applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Drooky Violet. I'm going to use this to shade our purple areas. So with all of our shades applied, our code right is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And he's looking pretty awesome, but we're not going to leave him there. No, we are going to take him to the next level. And we're going to do this by adding some layers and some highlights. Now, rather than going back to the beginning and doing the black, what we're going to start is working on the gold. And the color we're going to be using is Retributor Armor. And we're going to be using this as our relay. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to pick out the wide open spaces of all of his armor, but just avoiding any of the recesses around areas like the rivets and the trim. So just looking to reapply Retributor armor like that, giving it a nice warm shine. So with that Retributor armor all applied, as you can see, he's now got really nice shiny armor all the way around on that gold. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little edge highlight. And the color we're going to be using for that is a roughly two to one mix of Iron Breaker and Retributor armor. And we're just going to load some of this up on our brush and we're just going to start picking out those edges all the way around all of the armor. So with all of that Retributor Armor and Iron Breaker mix applied, the gold is now all done. It's looked pretty cool, nice and shiny and awesome. So what we're going to do is going to move on to a non-metallic color here, and that's going to be the purple. Now the color we're going to be using to highlight this first is Gene Stealer Purple. What we're going to do is just going to pick out the edges.
And with that Jean Steeler purple applied, we're then gonna take some Slanesh Gray. I'm gonna use this to add a little spot highlight. So we'll be looking to pick out the sharpest areas on all of our purple. So with that all done, the purple is now finished. So what we're gonna do is move on to his face. And the color we're gonna be using first is Kislev Flash. I'm gonna be applying this as a relayer over the top of his skin, just avoiding where the Fire Slayer Flash has settled. So with that done, just before we finish highlighting the face, what we're going to do is we're going to take some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of his bottom eyelid. Like that. And on the other side, we're going to apply this over the top of the entire of the eye, including the bottom eyelid. With that Black Templar applied, we're then going to take some Berserker Bloodshade and I'm going to apply this over the top of his bottom lip and his tongue. Down here like that. We're also going to apply it to this little bit of scarring. Up here. A little bit just there, not the big one. I'm just going to mop up a little bit of that Berserker blood shake. It's a little bit too much up here. There we go. Perfect. So with that Berserker blood shake now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Flayed One Flash I'm going to use this to pick out the sharpest edges and features on his face. So with that flayed one flash applied that we're then going to take Black Legion, I'm going to apply this over the top of his eyeball. Like so. And so with that Black Legion applied, then I'm going to take a teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. And I'm going to apply this in the corner. Of his eyeball. Here. And in there. Like so. So with that done, the flesh is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone and I'm going to use this to highlight his beard. So with that done, the face is now finished. So what we can do is move on and we're gonna move on to all of the remaining black details. So this is gonna include things like the bookmarks, the flight suit and his cloak or coat. And the color we're gonna be using first for this is Thunderhawk Blue. And we're just gonna pick out all the edges. And so with that Thunderhawk blue applied, we then take some rust gray. And we apply this to the really sharpest points. On all 
all our black details. With that rust gray applied to the sharpest points, all of our black details are now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Araman blue now, and you're gonna use this to add a little tiny little spot highlight to the sharpest corners on all of our books. So with that Araman blue applied to our turquoise books, we're then going to do the same thing with some Evil Sun Scarlet on our red books. So with that done, it's now time to take a trip back to Metallic's town. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm gonna use this to, much like with the gold, we're gonna use this to relayer some of the wide open spaces. So on that little guardrail just there, we're gonna relayer it like that with the lead belcher, just avoiding those recesses at either end. On the boots, across the kind of bridge of the foot, We're gonna add some of this lead belcher like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the pistol. And on the contraptions on the back, we're going to relayer the kind of pistony bits like that. And that one, relayer this little area like this. But on the little kind of ratchet, we're just gonna pick out the edges. sort of thing. Similarly over here on this book gripper, we're gonna edge highlight. And so with that lead belcher all applied, in much the same fashion, we're gonna take some thinned down Rune Lord Brass. I'm gonna use this to do very similar. So we're gonna relay some areas of our brass with the Rune Lord Brass. Like that sort of thing. Whereas others, we're just going to add a little edge highlight. And so with that Rune Lord brass relayer and highlight applied, as you can see, that means it's finally time to do the last job, which is the books. Now we are just going to be painting in these two books because the ones on the back here are already done. We don't want to add any, too many highlights up there because it will start to make it look a bit weird. So what we're gonna do is first, is we're gonna take some Screaming Skull. I'm gonna use this to highlight the pages of our two large open books. And what you can also do here is use Screaming Skull to highlight the gloves. Now 
And so with that screaming skull applied, we're now gonna write some text in the books. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some wild wood. And we're gonna take a really small amount of this on the tip of our brush. And we're gonna start by adding in some tiny little runes. I recommend having the box art open in front of you. We're gonna do a little Y there. little end there kind of sideways on hourglass next to it Do a teeny tiny little kind of R shape there. We're going to do an I next to it. We're just going to add a little kind of sort of squiggle here on the end, like so. Then underneath it, we're going to do a second line. Souls into an S. Then do another N next to it. Gonna wash the brush. a sort of K slash R shape next to that. I'm going to add another little Y. Then we're going to do another R. Like that sort of thing. And then underneath it, what we can do on the page is we can add just some little kind of squiggles. going across the pages like that. And then really it's up to you. You can do this however you want. You can just do the squiggles if you want. And a little tip for doing this is the further up the brush you hold it, the more squiggly and shaky the line will be. You won't be as precise. Whereas the closer you hold it, the more precise you can be. Like that. So with that done across both books, our code writer is now finished. And all that's left to do is base. Now you can do this any way that you want. All I'm going to do is take some Targor Raid Shade I'm going to apply this over the top of the rocks. I'm then going to take some astro granite debris and I'm going to apply that over the rest of the negative space, wait for that to dry, and then dry brush the whole thing with some tyrant skull. So we're not going to film it because, well, I've just described it. And so with his base complete, our Caradron Overlord's code right is now finished. And 
I think this might be one of the best models ever made. <laughs> I genuinely do. I think it's so characterful and so interesting. And it really, really adds a lot to the Caradron Overlords. Whilst not being kind of too overly kind of flight suity. There's a lot of character here that kind of adds just so much to that range of miniatures. And it's very impressive that something of this size actually does that in amongst all of those boats and things. Really, really love it. And I think it's very, very impressive. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.